Hello, my soccer universe. The agony is over. The agony is over. I've been pretty down this entire week concerning Milan's chances. They win at Atalanta. Prove me wrong. I'm so over the moon. Seven years of wait going into the, of going back to the Champions League are over. The last game was a loss to Atletico Madrid away from home. I think of the ugly 4-1 loss when Atletico Madrid is about to make it to the Champions League final. That's over. Yay! Yay! Milan is back. I mean. We're not back, 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 but we're back in the Champions League. So uh, I cannot tell you how happy I was yesterday. This was not a relaxed evening for me yesterday. Um, for many reasons, because I, uh, the zone had a great, a great idea. Because I was really wondering how much I should do with the French title race and the Italian Champions League race. Yes, let's show all of them in a big uh, back and forth switch around um, channel. Great idea. However, they added four French games. I don't know why they showed Monaco and Lyon, especially Lyon, I didn't get at all. Uh, I'm sorry. And then what's even worse, they, I even understand that they put a little bit of focus on the French tit title race because this is a great story. But then they kept going back to the Juve game that was already decided and no one is interested in. It was all. At first, I was totally for it. Yes. Show me what Juve is doing, because uh, that has really big bearing, because if Juve is not winning, that uh, changes uh, the complexion of the other two games. However, what I was really then upset is when already was in the second half and Juve was up three, even, uh, even four goals. They rather went to the friggin' Juve game than to show me anything of Atalanta-Milan. In the 70th minute, I took matters in my own hand and I said, I'm so nervous, I've only seen the penalty for Cassier and a few um, other th small scenes because then they were, they were scoring again goals in uh, Bologna. I need to watch that game because I'm here sitting here and I don't know what's happening. And although... Yeah, I was going back and forth. Is, 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 is it really the best thing? I then said, no, I gotta see it. I, 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 I cannot. I really cannot. And I know there was a Napoli-Verona game that was equally important. But I said, no, if Milan can do it by themselves, I'd rather watch that than uh, see what, uh, how Napoli is failing. In many, uh, or, or, you know, if Napoli is snatching it away fr uh, from Milan. I think if Atalanta will score an equalizer, then I would have a back, uh, go, uh, gone back to the, con the conference. Thing called, it's called conference, uh, that, that's what I'm saying, conference. But yeah, nail better. But Milan actually very solidly, and I think this is now four, if not five games in a row where they haven't conceded. So defensive solidity rides them through. And despite me being completely dejected of what they showed against Cagliari, I have to say, uh, this run-in was pretty much the Milan that we saw early in the season with defensive solidity. So yeah, very, very happy about that. Uh, this saved, this this literally saved the season for me. Yes, and I have not done the review video for Spain and France. Yes, I am. I think the uh, spark this season came definitely with Atleti and Lille winning the respective uh, the titles for their respective leagues. However, Milan making it back, Puy and claiming second spot that is so big to me and I think um, things will definitely be on the up for Milan going forward. I actually th I actually have, a, and I had this already ahead of this, I have a much more positive outlook for Milan than I have, say, for Inter, uh, because Milan is building on a solid foundation and this is uh, that comes in addition. I'm not saying that Milan will challenge next season. I actually think that Juve will bounce back somehow. Gut feeling that I have. However, I think Milan uh, will soon be able to challenge for titles again. And I would even say Milan will make it first to the second star before Inter, although Inter is now one ahead. It's they need to win twice in a row. But whatever happens, happens at the moment. I'm happy with my team. Well, speaking of Inter, they actually got a very decent slot 
all by themselves, three o'clock, where they could celebrate however they want. Um, and I actually, despite them being the big rivals, I congratulate Inter. They are deserved champions and they also deserve this little title party for all by themselves in this time, the time slot, three o'clock um, on Sunday. And they celebrated by scoring loads, loads of goals. I mean, it was not a competitive game in any way. It was just a bomb bouncing the ball around. Um, Ashley Young opening scoring, probably in his last game for Inter. Eriksen scoring through the wall. This tells you how um, serious the whole game uh, went. Then my favorite goal was the fifth by Luke Lukaku, where the ball from across hits the post, bounces back onto Lukaku's head and into goal. Martinez and uh, Perisic score, score the other ones. Uh, Pereira pulls one back from from a penalty and yeah it was all smooth sailing for Inter and they had done a great trophy celebration in front of a few fans so all fine there but all everything was focusing on how the evening went who will go in the Champions League and I think the most important I mean for me the most important will Milan make it back and this is what I have now put on the front uh, of the video title and also in my introduction. However, I think the big one was, will Juve even make it? Will Juve miss out? And it was very interesting because I have to say there were three to f maybe in, of four phases in this uh, going back and forth. The first one was that Juve very quickly, although Bologna tried to play with Juve, Juve was clinically and very quickly got the first goal through Chiesa, which settled their nerves. And ever since Juve lost against Milan, and ever since Buffon saved the penalty against Sassolo in the next game, that moment I think things clicked for Juve and they actually uh, were a little bit on the roll. They, they saw they don't we don't have any now hand, hands over, but we're gonna give it our all. And uh, you have to give a lot of credit for Juve there. So Chiesa gets the first and Morat in the 29th, the second. Uh, and Rabio just before the half makes it even 3-0. So that game was sailing. After the half, 44 47, a Chesney assist to Morata, who was just no, not of size, make, make, makes it 4 0. So 4 0. So Juve got the, uh, did their job, winning eventually 4 1. Uh, Napoli was super nervous against Verona. Verona came to play which I found rather interesting. Um, and it was really that Napoli, uh, they have all the talent in the world, but something completely held them back. Whereas in uh, Bergamo, Atalanta and Milan, yes, Atalanta had more of the game, but Milan held really, really uh, everything solid on the back. And uh, and uh, had the first real chance when uh, just, just, just before the half, Theo runs in, 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 in the box and is mowed down there. Penalty. And the way Cassio converts is, yes, he missed the one against Juve. But if you see that penalty, how he slowly uh, gets up and then with super precision, nonchalantly puts in a corner. I mean, even if Golini would have dived in the corner, he would not have gotten that. That lead settled at least my nerves and gave me some hope, although I knew that Atalanta will come back with a vengeance and then uh yeah first the the, the fir first parts of the second half there were also i mean there was a huge chance by zapata that just missed the post but that much but then equally leao on the other end um uh, put it put the ball on the on the post but yeah atalanta was pressing but didn't have chances and this is what i found really impressive with milan although to, for my liking uh the longer the game went on the further they let themselves fall back which is not a good thing to do against atalanta but it worked over in naples uh it needed a um dead ball situation i think it was a corner that uh, Ramani heads onto Oshiman and it falls back to him and he puts it into the net. 1 0 Napoli. And this was a, a point where I'm thinking, oh, now Milan is only one goal. I mean, when Napoli had a draw and Milan had, had a lead, it was a two goals cushion for Milan to stay in the championship. Champion. Now it was only a one goal cushion. However, uh, I. I don't deny that I would have liked to, for Napoli to be in the Champions League and Juve to be out, but it was a kind of a dangerous game to, to be played. I actually felt safer when, as long as there was the draw um, in Naples. And uh, the draw came because, um, as I said, Verona came, came to play in Faraoni, 
uh, gets equal as Ramani, by the way, having played for Verona earlier. So yeah, it is 1-1 one, one, and again, uh, very timid Napoli, uh, not, no, not timid, but uh, nervous, imprecise, the weight on, on, on the shoulders. What Napoli really needs is a mental coach. I'm absolutely, um, they have Gattuso, they get rid, rid of the Gattuso. I think uh, G -G 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 Gattuso is great, but he needs to have something in, in addition. I think Gattuso is becoming a, a real value manager uh, that ha is a great leader. Um, or, 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 you know, a, a kind of a star whis whisperer. So uh, I, I'm, I'm getting more and more impressed of the work that Gattuso has done, that they get rid of him at Na Napoli might turn out to be a problem, I think. In any case, uh, Napoli cannot do uh, much, cannot find the breakthrough, though I think Mertens had a, had, had, a, had a pretty good chance. I was content with the draw at the point, but then most of the time I didn't know that there was a draw because I went over to Atalanta Milan. And as I said, Milan kept it uh, tight on the back. There were two little counter attacks, but then came this phase in the last few minutes where especially Kessie, he just got glued onto the corner flag and no one could take the ball off him. Uh, they got a free kick even though uh, he clearly... Um, I blocked the ball. Uh, he got a free kick. It was more or less a corner kick. And again, they tried to try to go over, over, over there. But then the ball comes to Chalanoglu. Uh, they go into the box. Um, it is uh, they take they take a shot, which is deflected off onto Gosens, uh, and it's another penalty. The twenty-first for Milan this season. Twenty-one penalties. That's a huge. I mean, and I'm not saying that Milan was always. Lucky because there were a f there were not many that I will say that Dalfa is just the way that the luck went in the in, in this case. Then uh, in the following, but you saw that Atalanta got frustrated because of course they wanted to be uh, second place and Milan will take that from them. Uh, in that then Krunic got a yellow yellow card. The Ron uh, was sent off. I don't know exactly why. Maybe he he punched Krunic to, to the ground. I don't know. The only replay that I saw is Manjukic pushing the Ron. Uh, uh, was a little bit weird. However, Kessie again nonchalantly, and this time in the other corner, puts it away. 2 0. Milan safe. Napoli having one less chance. And now Milan pff, couldn't care anymore. We're, cel we're, we're celebrating. Over to Bologna, where Juventus were low, low looking at screens. And the last action of the game, Petania just misses the goal by that much. Whistle blows. And Juventus, who had played without Ronaldo. Uh, also celebrating and maybe, just maybe for Italy, it might actually be better that Juventus is back into the Champions League because I think, as I said before, you will make it back. So this was the big story. There was also a little subplot then in addition, which concerned the Conference League spot uh, between Sassuolo and Roma, uh, where Sassuolo needed help from Spezia and needed a win against Lazio. And while Lazio played with, uh, played all right for most of the time, the latest where it was 2 0 for Sassuolo, Sa 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 Lazio just stopped playing. It was a weird jersey matchup Sassuolo in blue against Lazio in green. That did not make any sense to me whatsoever, but I guess Sassuolo Sa Sa wanted to promote the new away jersey. The goal came early for Sassuolo Sa Kyriakopoulos. As I said, a few chances for La La Lazio Kyriakopoulos was actually sent off with a yellow red. Berardi with a penalty make, make makes to nil, and then it could have even gotten uglier. And at that point, uh, Sassuolo really thought they are home and dry because Spezia had a 2 0 halftime lead through Verde and Pobega. However, Roma clawed themselves back first El Sharabi in the 52nd and then very late Mikitarian in the 85th gets the scores level and Roma finishes second thanks to the uh, superior head-to-head -head over Sasa Sassuolo on away goals. It's by the slimmest of margins. But Roma is also through and then what could have been a relegation uh, playoff Torino against Benevento and 1-1 which uh, basically preserves the distance that they had for, uh, from before. So yes, with all that we know in the champions, Milan move into second place, you will move into fourth place and Roma hang on to the Europa League spot. Genoa, I have to say, this was so surprising to me, they finished in 11th, uh, a team that everyone touted of going down this season. No, they did not. Uh, it was actually Torino and Cagliari who also hang on and stay in there. 
Well, that was it for the Serie A season. We only have a uh, playoff for uh, who is gonna get, get get promoted. As far as I know, the teams that are come, come, come up are Empoli and um, uh, Salernitana. And we have between Venezia and Cittadella a final game. And I just see Venezia has won that one. So yeah. Venezia made, made, made it back. I'm very, very happy about that because now, next season, we will see this jersey on the wall back there. So, very, very excited about that. I'm losing Parma, I'm gaining Venezia. <laughs> Cannot be happier than that. So, yeah. Let me know what you thought about this final day uh, in the Serie A season. Uh, as, as I said, it was everything that I wished for, almost every, everything I wished for, but you know, the only thing I really cared honestly was Milan and I was very worried. It is a big relief. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!